Hello my awesome grade 2 students. Today is another Thursday and it is the last day for ICT e-learning and that happens to all the elective subjects. So you would be very happy. <laughs> all right. So Miss Mary again is here and I'm going to start with our learning objective. First, I want you to learn how to insert a table with columns and rows. So it's pretty much easier compared to teaching you programming virtually. Then, second, I want you guys to learn how to name and insert special characters and symbols. So, to begin with, I have here, say, we're, we're going to insert a table. How do we do it? First, you need to open Microsoft Word, you need to click the insert tab, click on the table button from the menu bar, and then select insert and then name the desired number of rows and columns. Let's go about doing it. So I'm going to pull up Microsoft Word and then I'm going to from the Microsoft Word here, I have here file menu, the home tab, the insert tab, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to the insert tab. I'm choosing here a table and then I am say I'm going to insert a table with three columns say one that's the first column the second column the third column so I'm going to insert a table with three columns and five rows here I could click that one and also if I would choose the other way I would just click on the insert table from here and then I could pull up the insert table little window and from this window I could just choose the number of columns so here there's arrow button up arrow button down so as I said earlier I'm going to create or insert a table with three columns like that and then five rows so I'm clicking on that button five rows and then I'm choosing the OK button like that so there and then you could also choose if you like to have a, have a design something like that so another way is I'm going going back to the insert tab I'm choosing a table from the insert tab I'm clicking on the table button and then I'm going to choose draw table in this a particular process uh, i could just when i click on draw table i could just draw it you see the little pencil here so here i could just draw a table like that like that and like that it's how you draw a table then from this side so it's another way and then you could you could also make your your table like that look like that so there's actually different ways right so either you going back either you click from the insert tab you click on table the table button you click on you just choose insert table and then there's actually a lot of table columns and rows here so it's up to you it, it's either you click on the insert table you just choose from this uh, insert table link or you could just click on the insert table on the lower part to be able to pull up the insert table little window or the other way is you could just choose the draw table for you to be able to draw whatever table you would like in this uh, if you choose this draw table you could even make your your you could actually customize the the kind of table that you would like to have you could even draw diagonal lines and cells within the cells okay so now I'm just choosing this insert table link and then I'm just going to choose the number of columns would be three and the number of rows would be five here then I'm choosing okay now from here I could just uh, go back to home and then I'm going to choose say 
22 like that and then if I go back to my PowerPoint presentation this one is already being done all right so there's one two three columns with five rows one two three four five columns would be the one in vertical lines like that column one column two column three and then the vertical the horizontal would be the rows row one row two row three row four row five okay and then the other way of inserting a table is just like what i have shown you earlier you just have to click on the table from the insert tab click on table and then choose insert table to be able to pull up the little window then you could just uh, click on the number of columns and the number of rows that you would like to have and then click OK so like that and then okay if you also want to draw a table from the insert tab again you click on table you choose draw a table and then that's the time you could draw whatever you could personalize your your table you could even draw diagonal lines and cells within cells so that's it now uh, I want you also guys to know how to insert a symbol to insert a symbol from the insert tab you have to click on the symbol then you have to choose the symbol that you want to you want to have from the drop down list if the symbol is not in the list you have to click more symbols in the font box you have to choose the font you are using then you have to click on the symbol you want to insert and select the insert button so let's do it in Microsoft Word okay this is what I would like you to practice in front of your computer but you don't need to submit it so I'm asking you to create to practice creating a table which has a total of one two three three columns with five rows one two three four five and then I'm asking you to type in the names of the symbol uh, and then the symbol name okay I just I think I got incorrect with this the okay the label is kind of incorrect so we're going to correct it, okay so here I'm going back to uh, word from Microsoft Word I'm going to type in number and then I'm choosing it should be symbol symbol name and then the symbol itself okay so here going back to Microsoft PowerPoint I have here here this one the symbols would be the symbol name should be copyright infinity trademark and division copyright infinity trademark and division so we're going back to word I'm going to type in first the number one number two number three number four you just have to navigate it using your arrow keys and then so it's or the tab key so it is here for you to number to number it from ones to four and then the symbol name would be uh, there is copyright there is trademark there is infinity and division so let's uh, go back that's the first one is cop the copyright uh, that's the symbol name and then the infinity infinity is the one that looks like number eight and then there's trademark and then there's division division sign so here I'm clicking on the symbol and then I'm going from the insert tab I'm here in home tab I'm clicking on the insert tab and then from this side on the upper right hand corner I'm choosing symbol then here I could just choose copyright so it's here the copyright is the little letter C here say for example it's not shown right away you could click on more symbols then it's going to pull up the more symbols button okay and then you from the more symbols button you could just navigate 
which special characters you would like so they say this one it's copyright from the special characters tab there's two tabs from the symbol uh, window there's symbols tab and then there's a special characters tab so in the special characters tab i have seen the copyright that's the letter c we encircled letter c so i'm clicking on the insert uh button then i choose close there we go and for the infinity i would go back to the symbol the infinity is the one that looks like inverted number eight a horizontal number eight and then for the trademark i'm go i'm still on the insert tab i'm choosing symbol the trademark is the letter tm the one that you see on your uh, trademark on your t-shirts on your toys so it's a trademark here there's tm trademark i i click on the special characters tab and i found tm for trademark then i, I click on the insert button and then i'm clicking on the close button there you go and for the division sign so neither of these symbols are shown on your keyboard that's why you need to know where you you would be able to type it in your computer once you are in ms applications once you need to type it so i'm still in the insert tab i'm choosing symbol and then the division sign is here say it's not in in it's not shown right away you just have to click on more symbols but in my end it shows so like that so that's pretty much it so again you need to practice it you need to know the names of this or so, uh, four symbols the copyright infinity trademark and division sign so that's all for for this week and I want you guys to to focus on your core subjects this is actually um, virtual learning is all new to us due to pandemic and I hope you guys are coping and I wish you a blessed Ramadan to all our Muslim brothers and sisters have a nice week and ahead goodbye for now oh by the way don't forget to do your software TV, the very easy software TV task that is the last Sophative task I am asking from you. Okay, that's all for this week. Goodbye and have a restful weekend ahead. Goodbye.